Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So today we'll see one more concept in compiler design that is language specifying the lexical analyzers. So usually we call it as a lex tool. Okay. So lex tool. So what is a lex? So lex stands for lexical analyzer and this is nothing but a program. Program that generates lexical analyzers lexical analyzers okay right and so sorry this is a tool that provides the lexical analyzer and this lexical analyzer is a program it is a program that generates tokens tokens right so lex is a tool that generates the lexical analyzers and whereas the lexical analyzer is a program that generates the tokens so obviously these tokens are the output of the first phase in the compiler that is a lexical analyzer so for this we have to write a program in a lex okay so the step one is writing so writing program in lex language lex language okay similar to our c there is a language called lex language and the second one lex compiler execution so in order to change the language from one form to another form we are going to use some compilers so in similar way here we are using the lex compiler to convert the program which was written in lex to c so here the input is lex program and it generates an output in c program so for that we are going to use a lex compiler and the next one the third step is a c compiler c compiler execution so now the output of the lex is a c now what happens we need to execute the c in c compiler so what we'll be getting we'll be getting some object code object code so here the input will be C program and output will be object code object code and the finally we are giving and uh, this usually we call it as a lexical analyzer lexical analyzer and we are we have to give some input bits for the lexical analyzer so that we will be getting the sequence of tokens as an output so the next one is executing object file so here the input will be a stream of bits and the output will be tokens a sequence of tokens so this is the process done for getting the sequence of tokens so first the program will be written in a lex so here we will be using a different uh, text editors in a linux right v v i v m g edit there are a lot of uh, text editors available so with the help of those text editors so we can write the program in this lex language so there is a structure for this lex program also we'll see in our uh, further um, i mean further minutes right so the program should be written in the lex language which the it will be having the extension of dot l extension with the dot l so similar to our java c and python so the lex language program is also uh, having the extension dot l and here we know it is a dot c we will be getting the dot c 
and the object code it will be dot uh, out a dot out okay out right so usually this will be given some input to this a dot out so that we'll be getting the tokens so just i will show you the representation of uh, these points see the first step writing the program in l lex and then input for the lex compiler so here i am taking here it is a lex compiler so here the input is lex dot l so which is nothing but a lex program and the output will be c program c program right so let it be some lex dot c so it will be converted right and that will be given for this one right so the same thing will be given to the c compiler now c compiler and here it is a lex dot c and we will be getting the output as e dot out or something object code okay this is a lex scale analyzer and in this case so the object file will be here okay the object file will be here and the input will be a stream of bits stream of bits and the output will be sequence of tokens a sequence of tokens so this is a process now we'll see how the lex program will be written that means a structure of a lex program okay now let us check structure of a lex program so this lex program will be having the three sections so three sections so what are those sections the first one is definition section definition section okay so here we are supposed to give all the definitions of macros or declaring the variables anything will be written here right? so defining or declaring so here the declaring the variables will be done declaring of either variables or constants okay variables or constants similarly uh, including any header files including any header files similarly say any macros everything will be written in this definition section so see these are the points three points right so how it can be written how the uh, declaring of variables how the header files and how the macros will be included so these will be included in between see colon uh, sorry uh, mod curly brace and here we need to write the definitions and close it so in between the percentage and a curly braces here we are supposed to write the definitions for example we can write here include stdio.h the header file or else we can write int a comma b or we can also declare any pre processor directives okay so in declaring a constants we can give a declaring a constants here so everything will be done here so that should be in between percentage curly brace and percentage curly brace and this is called the definition section so the first section is a definition section and the next one and the second one is a transaction rules transaction rules so here we are supposed to write some regular expressions and followed by 
what are the i mean what are the actions to be taken if it matches with the given regular expression so that usually it uh, represented in between percentage percentage and percentage percentage and here we need to give the transaction rules we have to mention all the transaction rules so in between percentage percentage and percentage percentage and these transaction rules will be in like p1 and curly braces action 1 p2 curly brace action 2 and followed by so here p1 p2 represents the regular expression okay so this p1 p2 represents regular expression and here the action represents whatever the action to be taken if the instruction matches with this particular regular expression so these kind of transaction rules whatever the transaction rules those rules should be given in in between uh, two percentages so that we call it as a transaction rules and this is a second section in lex program and the third one am i raising this one and the third one is a user subroutines and the third one user subroutines so that means the user defined functions okay so here you can write it as int main and followed by the code okay followed by the code or else so uh, int uh, check prime check prime and whatever the code we can write it so these type of users user defined subroutines or user defined functions should be written there okay so here the main function which we are writing in c will comes under the user defined functions because whatever the logic that should be the a compiler should execute we are writing itself right so main function is always the user defined function so all those user subroutines or sub procedures sometimes we can call it as a procedures some we can call it as a subroutines so the user defined subroutines or user defined functions should be written under the third section called user subroutines so these are the, just an example for that okay so there are three sections in a structure of lex program where we have to write the instruction the first one is a definition so i'll I, i'll write uh, here itself okay all the three sections i'll write here so structure of lex program so we can go with the percentage so here it will be definition section and followed by double per, uh, percentages and here we have to write it transaction rules in terms of p1 and action p2 and action etc and within the double parent double percentage we have to write it and the third section is the user subroutine section subroutine section where we are supposed to write all the subroutines user defined subroutines so this is the structure of lex okay so definition transaction rules and user subroutines so this we are getting we are giving as a input so that we are getting the sequence of tokens as a output and this will be given to the lex compiler which will be converts this particular program so that extension extension of lex program is dot l dot l so this program will be given to the lex compiler which will convert it into a c program and again we are giving the c program to the c compiler we are getting some object code or a machine code so or a lexical analyzer so where it takes some input uh, as bits and it will return the output as a sequence of tokens so 
this is all about our lex tool and this usually we call it as a language specifying the lexical analyzer so language specifying lexical analyzer so this is a language that is a lex language okay so language specifying lexical analyzer so lex is the language and to, uh, through the lex language we are writing some programs right so hope you understood this one let's stop here and if you are having any queries regarding this one feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much